Hi guys, hope you are doing great. In this video, I want to talk about one of the most important topic in Node.js that is how we can use command line arguments in Node.js. And I have come through a lot of applications where I needed to use command line args and uh, we can pass the dynamic and custom values to any specific function API without actually having uh, any a user interface any form on the browser or front end so let's see how we can do it i have opened up an empty project it just contain this index.js file it contains nothing and i have this package.json file uh, i created this project in my last video which is debugging node that's why its name is debugging node you can name it uh, like anything command line args okay so now uh, let's say uh, I want to receive when I want to run the script I want to receive a value a dynamic value okay so the way I can run this particular file is if you know node index.js and this file will be executed right now it contains nothing okay so uh, what I can do now let me just log this variable this variable is built in within node and let's see what it shows i'm gonna run and now you can see that it has printed out a lot of things in the form of arrays and uh, objects and the values and uh, inside it what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use this particular variable arg v and this is where I can receive the dynamic arguments from the terminal okay so right now it is showing me the default location of node where my node is, is installed in my system and uh, the file which is executed these two uh, values are must it's going to show within the argv okay so let me just write process.argv and rerun the script now you can see it has just shown me that array which shows node and the index.js file okay now i can define const and uh, add equals to process dot argv now any new value that i'm going to pass it's going to be start from the second index the third value of this array okay so we need to fetch those particular values using the index indices of those array okay so i'm going to write this okay and i'm going to name this variable value and inside it i can simply check what is the value so value equals to let's say if it is add then i can simply write the value is add right now i'm just trying to show you that uh, we can add a conditional statements and based upon the value we pass it we can change it uh, i'll show you what is the real world application we can use the uh, command line args in my case i have been using command line arguments for web scrapping for sending out dynamic values to forms in the websites and using those dynamic values it received from command line args and it uh, scrapped the data data uh, mine the data and return a specific uh, result from that website okay so value is not add okay so now uh, let me remove the semicolon now uh, let me remove it as well now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run it and I need to pass a uh, argument how can I pass it so the way I can pass is node index.js and space and I can simply pass add okay so you can see it has printed out value is add okay let me adds and value is not add okay so over uh value is working let me print out the process args that uh how it it is actually 
uh, storing these values in that particular array. So I'm going to log process.argv. Okay, and uh, let me pass new values. Uh, hello, how, there. So hit enter. Now value is at. Now you can see that it has printed out all the values that I have written over here. Okay, and let me just remove it. Let's say um, I wanted to pass uh, something like uh, title equals to this is my title. So you can see that uh, it has not separated out. It 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 considered this whole thing as one value okay so uh, we need to manually just uh, get that particular value of that index and uh, separate it with the equal sign and then we can get the value of this title and that's not really good what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you a very important and one of the most famous uh, node.js library so npm yogs and if i open it up you will be amazed to see how many download this library got in last week you can see guys uh, it is like 32 million weekly downloads for this particular libraries uh, i'm not going to show you everything what this library contains uh, but i'll give you an overview for basic examples but you can go through its uh, documentation. This is the content of it and uh, you can utilize it. So let's install it. Okay. So I'm going to write npm i and I'm going to write yogs. So it's going to download that library and it's going to create node modules folder and it's going to install for using it in our project. Okay. So package.json, you can see it has been installed and it is installed over here along with its dependent libraries. Okay, so let's open it up and uh, let's come down and I'm just going to comment this code over here. And uh, I'm going to show you how we can detect uh, a particular argument using this particular library. Okay. So first of all, let me just import this library. And after that, I'm going to write yogs dot command. It contains an object. I need to give it a command name, just like I have given an add I can uh, add a command so command add and uh, if I want I can give it a description as well so describe add a new note okay and builder title just like I was passing out the title I can get that particular title using this builder okay so let me just give it a describe this is the title arg okay and uh, what would be its type so string so that's it now after this builder i need to define a handler which is a function and function is going to receive any value that is coming using this particular command okay so uh let's write comma and i'm going to write handler function arg v Okay, so now I'm going to use the notes array dot push and I'm going to get it argv dot title. Okay, 
uh, this library and uh, I'm going to send it a pull request. There is a bug that I have found. Uh, let me just log it. Notes. And if I run it like title, this is my title. And uh, I'm going to uh, pass the command, which is this command. And after that, I'm going to pass the arguments. I can create as much as arguments as we want, just like this, add a comma and add the second argument and we can pass those values just like here, hyphen hyphen title equals to and within the quotes, I can give it a value. If I hit enter, you will see nothing happens. What it require is it's just a stupid thing that I need to use yargs.argv. Okay. And uh, now if I run this command, uh, you will see that this array is getting printed from this nodes. Okay. And after that, it is printing out this console.log and argv. If I just remove this log, it won't print even this. I don't know why does it so just a bug in this library but it you can see that uh, how much it is getting used okay so you can create as much commands i've just created add command if you're creating crud app and uh, you can create as much command as uh, you want and now if i just remove it add you will see that it is undefined okay i can pass any kind of uh, like required uh, keys to it like if i want it to be required i can simply uh, give it demand option and which is true it means that title is required if you don't pass title if i just hit it you can see that it has thrown me an error that uh, missing required argument title so let me pass the title now it will show me this value okay so you can see that how helpful it is if i just go to its documentation yogs api and you will see there are a lot of things that we can use using this particular amazing library we can also pass uh, arrays directly to it and get the argument from it uh, we can utilize it within an arrays, booleans, uh, we can have aliases, describe, choices, and just go through all the documentation, okay? And these are all the bunch of documentation. Uh, these are the demand options that I've just used. And uh, this is the command, this command that I've just created. This is the description, this is the builder, this is the handler that I just created and you can optimize and uh, modify your arguments and receive the values using this amazing uh, open source Node.js library. So hope you have liked it and uh, if you like this video make sure you subscribe this channel, hit the like button and comment below if you have any question.